Hi there! Before we get started on this one, I just like to remind you if you are interested in any of my collages or freebies or online classes, please check out the link here on the screen and in the description box. Today I want to share an easy way to get started with collage even without understanding all these principles of design. The beauty of collage design is that there are no rules. It's an extremely freeing form of design with endless possibilities. You can use simple shapes and arrange those on your substrate to create visual interest like Matisse did with his cutout collages. Or you can combine all kind of materials. It's up to you. It's important to work with those tools and materials that you feel confident and comfortable with. Start with what you have on hand, leftovers from other project, magazine pages, newspaper, you name it, even packaging material works well. If you're new to collage, a small format is a great thing to start with. The reason why I like to start small are you don't need a big space to work on small collages. You can work on the kitchen, ta kitchen table if you want to. You don't need tons of materials, so you don't have to buy a lot of stuff to start with collage. You can use little time spots for working on such small projects. How about a mini collage a day for the next 30 days? Such a project is a great way to improve your skills. Okay, first choose your format. I really like the square format as it has no direction. You can turn your collage to see if you like the composition more this way or this way. This brings in more flexibility. Once you have chosen the format, stick with it for a while. Every time you change the format, you need extra time and energy to accustom yourself to it. After a while working with this format, it's getting easier and easier. Then you can challenge yourself and try another format. So, I like to work on those small 4x4 four four inches cards made of mixed media paper. And I think a good way to start is to make some monochromatic collages. That means one color, but in lots of different values and tones, or mostly one color. To make it a bit more interesting and to bring in, bring in a bit more contrast, you can add black and white. Here are a few examples of such monochromatic collages. I used a lot of different materials, monoprints, magazine pages, vintage book pages, stamps, ledger paper. And it's really nice to see what you can create with those papers. So when we start, the first thing to do is to collect some papers. Here I have a collection of some blue papers and a stack with green ones. It's good to pick only a few papers from your collection of collage material. Working with limited materials helps to avoid feeling overwhelmed. Pick three to five papers from your stack that speaks to you and start playing with these shapes. So let's see what we have here. Here are my cards. Such a viewfinder, this one is the same size like the small cards, helps a lot to see better what works together.
When it comes to composition, many people want rules and formulas, but there is not a formula and that's a good thing. You can explore composition and use it as a means of personal expression. Find out what you like and work on this. Let's try this one. So now we need something different. Let's see. This looks nice. The white is a really nice contrast to the blue background. Oh, what about this one? have a nice connection between this line here and this line here. A bit too much. Maybe this way. this this and here we have another shape similar to this um, maybe we need something here oh, this one and oh, that's nice Let's try another one. Really nice shades of green. Now we have a very nice combination of different greens and very small letters and larger letters and we have this round shape and these very straight shapes. It's a very simple composition but I really like it. The important thing is to play with your stuff. Don't overthink it. 
It's only paper. You don't, if you don't like it, start a new one. If you do this on a regular basis, your composition skills will grow fast. Always ask yourself what you like about the collage piece and do a lot of such small work. With every single piece, it's getting easier and easier. And don't forget to have fun.